Susha. I've decided to reveal my real face to you because Angela trusts you. This is why I want you to become our helper in real world. I will be giving you assignments and for completing them you will receive prizes from me. But not virtual, the real ones. Are you ready? Yes, this is awesome! The first task is the easiest one. You need to find a cat with similar color as me. Basically, you need to find Tom in real life. Feed him well and send me a video. Can you do it? Of course, it's a fun task. Thank you. I'll be waiting. So guys, gave us a task to feed a cat that looks like him in real life. And by fortunate coincidence, I have a cat that looks almost like him. I'll show you now. Here he is. Look at him. He's gray with stripes and with green eyes. Does he look alike? We just need to feed him. I'm pouring some food. Ta -da! That's it, guys. I think I completed the task. It was fun and easy. I'm just lucky I have a similar cat. I cheated. Did I do it right? Well done, Susha. You have succeeded. And now open the entrance door. I left a gift for you there. You will get the next task tomorrow at 3 a.m. I'll be waiting for you. Bye-bye. He liked it and there is a gift behind the door. Let's take a look. Wow, what is it? It's a bag with some awesome stuff. Wow, let's bring it inside. Guys, Tom didn't lie. He sent me a huge bag with cosmetics. So cool. If you want to see the unpacking, I can do it on Instagram. Write in the comments if you want me to and I will definitely do it. It's amazing. It really works. I wonder what's next. Hi, Susha. A long time no see. How you doing? What's new? I'm good. I play the games, searching for monsters. What about you? I am searching for humans for my funny experiments. I can't use the word funny to describe your pranks. Honestly, I'm tired to take part in them. Wow. Whoa, what's that? Please don't ask me. Just drink this potion and you'll see. I won't drink it. I don't know what is that. Don't argue with me. My answer is no. Well, okay. Then we will do it hard way if you want. And if you don't drink this potion, I come to you and your friends every night and scare you all. Okay, okay. I got it. I drink it. For my friends. Well, that's good. Are you gonna watch me? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm scared. What can happen? Do you remember Alice in Wonderland? Hope I won't grow smaller. <gasps> oh! Do you hear that sound? <clears throat> oh, guys, I feel myself so bad. Like it's not my body. <clears throat> <clears throat> Super dirty. Hurry up, let's send him to the bathroom because he really needs it. Today I'm doing everything for you. My dear Hank, everything for you, even washing. Okay, 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 focus on your needs. Yeah. Looks funny. So now let's go wash him because he looks not really um, presentable. We got the fourth level, guys. Hi, Hank. Well, hello. So what? Have you played the Kimmy yet? No, I haven't played it yet. I bet you know that. You monsters should be communicating each other. Kimmy Mai told you I visited her. So Hang, I'm not here just to visit you. You did it right. Trick me into your game. You promised me to let me to open that safe box. But you have to give me the key. What do you want me to do for that? You have to do everything I want today. And maybe in the end of this game, I'll give you that key. Fine. 
I'll trust you this time. Actually, I shouldn't trust monsters. So tell me what you want. Hope nothing can happen to me today. Actually, I don't believe you guys. Stop talking, go and feed me. Food? Okay, I can do it for you easily. Do you want a carrot? Ew, I hate carrot. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go buy something new for you. So, uh, will you eat this hamburger? It looks really delicious. It's very, very, very tasty. You don't want that? No. What do you want then? I want something really disgusting. Show me. Look. Oh, is it an insect? Oh, I can't look at this. I heard all the monsters are on a high protein diet, as they say. I don't know why, but in my mind it's totally different diet. It's not about insects. Are you sure you're gonna eat that? Hey, stop talking. You said you do whatever I want. Right, I said I will do everything for you today. I don't want my finger to touch it, but I have to. Wah! Seems like I heard it's crunching. Grab some burger, I think you need it now. So now let's see what's happening on... Wow, size kid, he grew up! I guess I know why they need this protein diet and insects. Seems like monsters are growing up. Do you understand that? And I help them to grow up. My goodness! You look tired. What do you want me to do next? Get you to sleep? We've just started. You've just grew up. Gosh, he's so big now. Big paws, big head, buddy. Everything is super big now. Fine, let's go to the bedroom. Can I get my key now? You don't deserve this key yet. Keep on playing. Okay then, can I do my own stuff while you're sleeping here? Hey, no, no! You can't go anywhere! You have to be here! Do I need to look at you sleeping? You can't leave me. I want you to tell me the most creepy bloody story. And I'm gonna sleep. Fine, I will tell you a story. Hope you like it. Go sleep. So guys, I'm gonna read a story for Hank now. I prepared one on my laptop, just in case. You know, I'm a skilled player. So I'm gonna read from the laptop and Hank's gonna be asleep here. If he does something strange, let me know. Write in comments. Are you ready? It's a creepy story called Who's There? About five years ago, late at night, I heard four short doorbells at my door. I woke up, got angry and didn't open it. I didn't expect anyone. On the second night, someone rang four times again. I looked out the peephole, but there was no one behind the door. During the day, I told this story and joked that perhaps death had the wrong door. On the third evening, a friend came to see me and stayed up late. The doorbell rang again, but I pretended not to notice anything to check if I was hallucinating. But the he heard everything perfectly and after my story explained, let's deal with these jokers and ran out into the yard. That night I saw him for the last time. No, he didn't disappear, but on the way home he was beaten by a drunk company and he died in the hospital. The bells have stopped. I remember this story because last night I heard three short bells at the door. Um, not so creepy. Do you like it? Write in 